traits and skill sets are needed to be a successful chief knowledge officer? And can you share an example? I, I, well, I have to do multiple ones. First of all, one has to have an empathy with the seeker of knowledge. What does, a, if you're working for an association, what, what do members of our association want to know? How might they ask their question? What might they really need to know? So you have to really be able to put yourself in the shoes of the learner if you're going to be organizing knowledge for the learner. Another trait has to be a lack of fear of technology and a true respect for technology. One doesn't have to be an IT expert oneself, but the IT people are the ones who are going, in this day and age, with the growth of the internet, they're the ones who are going to unlock the key to success for you. If you can't work with an IT team or an IT person, you're doomed as a, as a knowledge manager. Also, I think a sense, a good old-fashioned sense of knowledge hierarchy. I know today you can tag everything by most specific nature, such as, uh, let's say, distressed bonds. But you have to know that distressed bonds are under the category bonds, and that bonds are under the category of securities, and that securities are under the category of capital, and that capital is under the category of enterprise. Unless you understand and appreciate all that, you really don't have knowledge. So I think you need to have a hierarchical sense of knowledge. I think you need to have empathy for uh, people who are seeking knowledge, true respect for IT. And, and with those, I think it'll take you a, a long way in, in the field of knowledge management.